This is our update to our XBTC install, turbo install, for the wastegate. We've got some comments and some feedback from the viewers on our YouTube posts that we forgot some stuff left out of the turbo install. One of the big steps is the wastegate and the vacuum lines that go to the wastegate. We have a half of a wastegate in here in my hand, and I'll show you some examples where the, the fittings and the wastegate should be placed. First, we have some fittings that come in the kit. We have two water fittings that come in the kit that are not used. As you can see, they're denoted H2O. We do not use these in the kit, but if you wanted to hook up your water to it, you could. The other two fittings that come in there are plugs. These are very key points to the wastegate. If you can see on the wastegate, there's three choices to put your fittings for your air supply for your wastegate. One, two, three. You have to make sure to plug two of these holes up and hook up the vacuum hose to the third hole. If you fail to do that, you can cause overboosting of your motor and blowing up of your engine. So here I'll show you where I'm gonna install these plugs. Plug number one will go into port number one, air, the air fitting. Screw it in, snug it up, take your wrench and tighten it up. Number two, fitting into here. Tighten it up. Make sure these are all snug and tight at all times. You don't want to cause an air leak here. And number three, you'll be hooking up your barb fitting to your wastegate on the number three port, air fitting, so you can hook up your vacuum line. Let's do that now. Now you installed all your fittings to your wastegate so you can have a proper boost to your engine. The other two fittings on the wastegate, the two top ports, the one right here and the one right here, will not be used in the turbo kit. If you add a, a boost controller later on down the line, these are where it will go, to one of these two ports. Now that we have all our fittings and our plugs in our wastegate, we can hook it up to our turbocharger. So the first step will be to get your brass fitting, put some Teflon tape on this or Teflon paste, and screw it into your turbocharger here on the housing. Once you have your fitting screwed into your housing nice and tight and snug with your Teflon tape and paste, or paste, hook up your vacuum line from the turbocharger to the side port where it says air on your wastegate. We've also had some more comments on the YouTube page about our install for the vacuum hose to the blow-off valve. We'll be hooking up a vacuum hose to the throttle body here, as you can see, and then taking it to your blow-off valve. Once you have this vacuum line hooked up, your blow valve is now active. The next step will be to cut this line and put a T in there. This T that I'm putting in here is to run the vacuum hose from the intake manifold to your FIC. Now that we have our vacuum T hooked up to our intake manifold, we can run our vacuum hose from our FIC to our intake manifold. This vacuum line will run along your firewall into the car. 